welcome to another, not really a van life video today, but part of my lessons learned when it comes to getting out there on the road. Well, as you can probably hear, the gulls. I'm in Whitby and I've actually stayed not far away from the, the main harbour. And uh, it's one of those things where you just think that there's certain life lessons when it comes to vans. Another camper van went park right next to me, having a little bit of a chat with them. And she says, I hope I don't keep you away because I'm going to be putting a dispacker on. I says, don't worry, I've got mine running as well. Now, as you know, in van life, you keep your windows open just a little bit, well, a little bit, just to let the condensation and the heat so it doesn't build up inside your van. But what turned his problem was, because we were parked this way, her dispacker pipe was blowing fumes into the van through my windows and it just stunk. It wasn't mine. I wanted to check. I actually ended up moving. So this is another one of those things you just don't think about it until you're actually in that position. Lessons van 101. Fumes. Put my dispacker diesel later. Something happened when you walked out through my door. Can't imagine what my life was like before. If I'm being brutally, brutally honest, I think in the last 30 or 40 times I've stayed in the van, I don't think I've actually had one night's good sleep all the way through. I don't know if it's the light, the sound, or the lack of complete darkness, or even whether it's my subconscious mind just not quite ready to let it all go. There's been many times when I first started van life I used to wake up in a panic in the middle of the night thinking the van was moving forward or somebody was trying to break in. I find it quite difficult to let that go, always worrying about something instead of letting your mind just drift away in the van. You're completely safe, nobody can get in, but when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you haven't got reception on your mobile phone, sometimes at the back of your mind there is always that worry. But that's part of van life, and really, if I'm honest with you, I wouldn't change anything. 